Good day everyone! For today's lesson is about when technology and humanity cross. As we go on, we'll be tackling these subtopics. What is technology? What are the roles played by technology? And what are the ethical dilemmas of technology regarding to human practice? Technology started as human civilization developed tools necessary for their survival. It can be defined as the application of scientific knowledge on different processes that aids in making life easier. Despite the good intention of technological development and advancement, advantages and disadvantages are still present. What are your thoughts about technology? Some of you may say it's the application of science, technology is dynamic as it changes quickly, a discourse on art, technology is the past, present and future kasi naging inevitable part na ito ng society. So with these given thoughts, dahil inevitable part na ito ng society, we can say that technology becomes a necessity na as time goes by. A necessity is the quality or state of being in need. Naging kailangan na natin siya kasi technology offers unang-una convenience. Mas madali na natin gawin yung mga tasks with the aid of technology. It offers pleasure and happiness. Kaugmahan pala ang natin ng technology eh. Technology offers communication and what I'm doing right now as you're listening to this video lecture. Para mas maintindihan natin kung ano pa yung mga offerings ng technology, let's proceed sa ating next subtopic. Let's look at certain devices. So may mga common devices tayong ginagamit daily tulad ng TV, mobile phones, and computers. With these given examples, aalamin natin kung ano yung mga roles played by technology sa humanity. Start tayo sa TV. So by definition, TV is an electronic system of transmitting transient images of fixed or moving objects together with sound. By history naman, year 1927, si Philo Taylor Farnsworth II ang kauna-unahang nakagawa ng working fully electronic TV system na tinawag niyang the image dissector. So, si Philo Taylor Farnsworth II talaga ang binibigyan ng credit na kauna-unahang nakagawa ng fully electronic TV system. Ganito yung itsura niya, yung nasa gitna. So, mapapansin natin na habang patagal ng patagal, nagiging flat screen na yung model ng TV. So, viral naman, ginagamit ang TV as the ultimate medium for advertisement placement. Ginagamit ito sa information distribution and for education and entertainment purposes. Next is the mobile phone. Telephone with access to a cellular radio system so it can be used over a wide area without a physical connection to a network. Motorola Dynatac 8000X ang kauna ng cellular mobile phone and si Martin Cooper yung inventor. Ganito yung itsura niya. Malaki and mabigat yan. Sisimbigat yan ng isang kilong cotton candy. So almost 1.1 kilograms. Ganun. So ginagamit natin siya as communication, emergency, storage, entertainment, and productivity. So, computer naman. It took humans 200,000 years to build the first computer. Ang definition ng computer is a programmable electronic device that can store, retrieve, and process data. Charles Babbage designed the analytical engine, the Babbage Difference Engine, na ginamit as the basic framework for computers. So, we use it in surfing, communication, other applications like gaming, editing, and ginagamit din siya sa workplaces and marami pang ibang application. So, syempre, may mga ethical dilemmas din faced by the technological advancement. So, ang ethical dilemma is choosing and doing what is right or wrong based on moral concepts on the given situation. Usually, dalawang opposing moral idea ito. Halimbawa, ito may point, yung another may point din. Pag ito ginawa mo, syempre, may consequences. Alin ba yung mas better? Alin ba yung mas tama? So, it's a decision making. Yeah. So, yan. So, common yan na sinasabi ng ating mga magulang. Number one. Most parents would argue that these devices make their children lazy and unhealthy. 
Mula umaga hanggang gabi, cellphone. Hindi na kumakain kasi cellphone. Kamay lang nag exercise ka ka cellphone. Tapos nakaka-alien pa pala ito. So, so, there is isolation. But if we see in a different angle in different concept, people, especially children, who are not yet capable of deciding for themselves what is right or wrong, are freely exposed to different things on these technologies without restriction. So, syempre pag bata pa, it's more about exploration and such things. And it's also their right to explore things. So, yun. There are two points, two moral points, and alin ba dun yung mas tama? For our last subtopic, we'll be discussing what is technology and its importance to human society. Technology is the application of scientific knowledge on techniques and processes is used mainly in industries. It has practical impact in the community's agriculture, health, education, and transportation sectors. It started when human civilization developed tools as they learn complex human behavior associated with survival. Technology has its pros and cons too. Advantages of modern technology Number 1. Improved communication Mas madaling ang communication ngayon. Number 2. Improved housing Mas convenient na ang ating lifestyle, mas convenient na ang entertainment, then convenience in education. So, ang education ngayon is madali nang ma-access compared noon. Convenience in traveling. Mas madali na ngayon ang pagta-travel compared noon. Although, pandemic and there's travel restrictions, mahirap na. <laughs> Never mind. There's also change in health industry, technological advancement. So, time goes by. As we humans opt to make use of technology, we develop new devices that contribute to the healthcare of humanity. Efficiency and productivity, in number six, and number seven, initiates creativity and innovation. So disadvantages of modern technology naman, number one is job loss and human displacement. One thing is the use of artificial intelligence. World destruction weapons like nuclear weapons, bioweapons, etc. Number three is increased loneliness. Ayala, kala ko ba napapasya ang technology? Well, one example is the physical isolation. In interactive relationships among family members and friends. Last is competency. So, increased dependence on modern tools and technologies that create innovations and changes in society may reduce creativity and intelligence. So although it also enhances and initiates our creativity and innovation, pwede rin siyang mag-reduce ng creativity and intelligence natin. To sum up the concepts that we learned today, if we observe at the growth of technology, it has only become more advanced over time. Humans have been working to make technology work more dynamic as long as we humans are alive, we search for convenience. We try to make something better, and this goes on forever. That's all for today. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.